We found it difficult when we weren't able to take selfies in the chamber. People had a go at me for not wearing a tie. Oh my God, come on. Hi, it's Tom, and I'm in Parliament House in Canberra this week where I've been watching the politicians we elected in May settle into their new jobs. I think for the first time the Parliament reflects people of all different backgrounds. I don't expect people to judge me for wearing my scarf. They've been coming up to me and saying, oh my God, seeing you gives me hope for a, an inclusive Australia. And I'm like, well, I, I didn't do anything to just, you know, enter Parliament. I think the missing piece also, though, is young people. It would be great if we did have more younger people in Parliament. So you can come for me. <laughs> there are only four MPs who are under the age of 30. I sat down with some of our youngest MPs and some of our newest MPs to hear what they think. I think the reason young people don't take an interest in politics is because they see it as so abstract. The primary barrier has been that it's just not a space that young people should be in. Well, it's very hard to get in. I mean, the parties make it very difficult for younger people to break through. It doesn't look like us. We need to have their perspective. If we're racking up debt on the credit card now, as we have been for the last few years, the younger people are going to pay the bill. I said it in my first speech, but a lot of the pomp, ceremony and rules of this place, I actually feel like almost deliberately designed to disconnect politics from everyday people. On, on relevance, Mr Speaker, I'm not interested no, in causation. No. People had a go at me for not wearing a tie. I draw your attention to the state of undress. You know, there's all these double standards. It's quite theatrical. Put your masks on procedure when you're getting up and there's just the, all these formalities and I understand and respect it to a certain degree but then there's the shouting and the yelling. And well hang on! And so many of them seem structured in to drag politics away from everyday people. I would say to young people who might be considering entering politics that there's a lot of negativity around it. During the election campaign the biggest criticism of me were young and therefore inexperienced and the second one was that I didn't have a political background. He's a little bit different. You get the occasional trolls online, but you know, <laughs> just brush them off. <laughs> I'm young, I bring a different perspective, and I'm not a career politician. That's what I think we actually need. But my campaign is the most positive thing that I've ever done. Wow! I feel very blessed that I'm in the younger cohort. I've come to this house to really make an impact. Unfortunately for us, not a lot of younger voters are seeing their values in the Liberal Party. So my obligation is to listen and learn and understand why they're feeling that disconnect. The people I've spoken to have varied paths to have ended up in the parliament, but one thing that really stands out to me is how quickly it seems they've all felt at home here. Every one of these MPs feels like they belong in Parliament. There's a genuine sense of optimism among these new MPs and young MPs about the way the Parliament is changing. I had a good quote that I like from Azali Stegel. If you're not at the table, you're on the menu. Yeah, if you're not there in the room, they're just going to steamroll you. There genuinely is a lot of collaboration where members across opposition, government, crossbench, work together on different policy areas. Throughout the campaign, I said to young people, this is your future that's been created. Usually the more you educate people about it, the more frustrated they become with the political system, and that either drives them to get involved and run for office, council, state or federal, or drives them to advocate for change. Either of those options is an amazing outcome. So if you want to do it, if you want to go into the room where it happens and step up to the table, then find your courage. The face of the parliament is changing. How quickly that feeds into a change on the issues, well, that's up to them. <laughs>